My first video game system. Just those words put a smile on my face. Just going back to my childhood and thinking about that is just, it's just great. So, this is going to be an outro Megason response video. He made a video about just what his, uh, his little childhood on his first system on a Nintendo and he said, if you want to make a video response, go ahead, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess I'm going to do it, so, here I am in doing this, and I do remember it a little bit, not exactly how it all started, but I do remember the first system I played was, and that was the Super Nintendo, and what better system to go and start out with pretty much than the Super Nintendo, I mean, people will have different opinions, obviously, but... The Super Nintendo is undoubtedly just a really good system to start with. Um, technically, it wasn't mine, actually. It was uh, my older brother's. He got it, I think, on his 8th birthday, I believe. I, I don't remember exactly, because I was 4 years old, so... <laughs> it's not really completely in there, but... I'm pretty sure it was 95, but whatever, so... I just remember back when I was little and going into my mom and dad's room because that's where the system first was and just turning on the NES and playing whatever games we had and it was just great. The first game I think I first ever played I believe was Super Mario All-Stars plus Super Mario World. I actually have it in there right now so should I get it out? Would that, would that be unprofessional? I'll get it out. Super Mario in there. Ah, here it is. Here it is. Uh, Super Mario All Stars plus Super Mario World, and I think this was uh, put packaged with it around the end of the, of the system's line or something. But this was I'm uh, pretty sure the first game I ever played, and it's just it's pretty much a Super Mario All Stars with. Super Mario World in it, so it's like you're just getting candy, and then you get more candy with it. It's just like, okay, yeah, it's just, just so many memories with this game. I, I never really got that far as a kid because I didn't really even try. I would just get a few levels, and then after that, I couldn't even get, um, after one part, I, mean, I would maybe be stuck it somewhere or something like that, just... I just remember I never really got that far in it, but uh, what are you going to do, and really good memories there. I also have Toy Story in there, a uh, WrestleMania game, Super Mario Kart, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Space Invaders, let's see, what else, I believe there's something else. Yeah, Kirby Devlin, and... That's pretty much it, because we unfortunately never really got that many Super Nintendo games. But hopefully that's going to change, because our Super Nintendo actually lost its port on the back, which sucks, really, because everywhere I went, there was no place I could fix it, because they didn't fix that, those things. So I was just like, this is never going to get fixed, I'm never going to play it again, and... Other than that port, it, was, it looks like it was in pretty good shape. It, it, I mean, it was still great. It didn't have any yellow, so... Despite being about 20 years old, so it really sucked, but... We finally found a place, and... Technically, it is fixed, but... We need to get another power cord for it, because it's damaged. I, at least we hope that's the problem now, if... There's just another problem after this, I... I pretty much give up, just... I'll go online and buy one, I guess, just, it, it has to be the last resort, because 
We did have a video game store that was much closer to us. The one we took our system to is a lot farther away, but the one that's a lot closer to us closed down. It, of course, it was the only one in town. And we don't know if they're taking out a business. business. It just says, um, business closed, sorry for the inconvenience. So, but they had paper all over the windows, so they probably closed down for good. It's, it sucks. It, it really does. So, we're just hoping it can get fixed. But, I also remember getting Earthbound. Just so many memories there. So many. And that's another game I never really got that far in because it got pretty difficult later on, but it was still a fun game. Just, it was kind of like Pokemon on Super Nintendo. So I guess that's why I love both of them so much, so. And I, I just remember getting Earthbound all the freaking time. I mean, I probably pissed all the other gamers off because it was the only copy editor. They, they were probably like, ah, that, that frick again. <laughs> And uh, by the time they- I apologize for that, my camera went out, because it sucked all the batteries out. And I, I just put these in a few days ago, just- Crappy camera. It sucks the life out of batteries like it does to- as vampires, it sucks the blood out of humans. Jeez, but- Okay. What was I? The Earthbound. I just remember getting it at Blockbuster all the time, and I probably pissed all the other gamers off from getting it all the time, and I should have bought it because I didn't know it was going to become the rare game it is today. Just, it's pretty much impossible to find Earthbound for a hundred dollars or less. Impossible. Even after it's gotten on a virtual console, it's impossible. I mean, Really, the only way you could ever get Earthbound under $100 if, is if you had a friend who had it. And even then, they had to be a close friend. Just like, pretty much a best friend. Then, maybe he'll give it to you for about 80 or something, so... Unfortunately, I don't have a best friend who has it, so I just had to stick to the virtual controversy, but... I guess that's better than nothing, so... I also remember getting Mortal Kombat. My mom didn't like that game. <laughs> Just ripping heads off, getting hearts out, slicing people. Oh, just all that good stuff. And of course, you had all those people going like it was too violent and all that. And you know, I played and I turned out all right. I I haven't been going out ripping people's hearts out or ripping their heads off, or slicing them in half, or anything like that, so... I think I turned out pretty good. So... Uh... <clears throat> I also remember when I got the Game Genie, that, that was actually, actually many years later, maybe 2004, 2005, but... I just remember getting them in, loading in the code, and it was like, oh, I can do anything! Yes! Just walking through enemies, not getting damaged, and all that, it was just... Really good stuff. All really good stuff, and and I, of course I haven't been able to play it for years now because of my Super Nintendo problems. So I don't even know if it even works anymore. I I hope they do because um, I guess I think Game Genies are a lot better than Game Sharks. I we got like three Game Sharks throughout all of our childhood for the N64, and all of them broke, and even one of them was broken right out of the box. It, that's picked this off. It was just like, we spent $50 on that thing, and it never even worked. I don't know why we didn't take it back, but we didn't. So, we also got the N64 pretty on, too. The, I think my brother got that for his 10th birthday, I believe, and we got it from, I think he got it from our grandparents. We just remember getting that thing, freaking out, hooking it up, and just, as we saw Mario run around in circles in 3D, it was just... It was incredible, and uh, I also remember when I got Alan Rinky out of time at Blockbuster, too, it was just like, and I actually remember how I got, I was, I was looking around at Blockbuster for a game and I couldn't find anything, it was just like, eh, have, you, have you ever played all these games or all of them look like they're terrible, I, I don't know what to get. Then I saw this, all these gold boxes around here, I was like, oh, that, those must be new, and 
I picked it up, looked at the front, looked at the back, I saw some guy in green slashing a sword around. I was like, that looks pretty good, I guess. I'll get it. So I got it, put it in the cartridge, and I've been a Zelda fan ever since. And so has my brothers, or at least my younger brother, because my older brother doesn't play his video games as much as he used to, but still, it, it is what got me into Zelda when I was a kid, so, haha. <laughs> and not related to much of the Super Nintendo, but I actually remember when I was a kid I had this dream of um, Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Toad, and Bowser came, to, came into my house and it looks like the it looked like those um little costumes you put on at amusement parks that the employees had to wear, but they just walked into our house and they started dancing and, and my brothers and I joined in and were just like, Yay! That's probably one of the earliest dreams I ha have right now that I can remember. It was just it was weird. But I I remember it pretty well. And uh Alpha Omega to mention in the video about getting games at grocery stores. I remember that. I remember that. But uh, my brothers and I didn't really do that a lot because the uh, grocery stores pretty much always had terrible games. And I'm guessing that's why they were cheaper, but we would just look for this selection and be like, This is terrible. I mean, even our movie collection was bad. It was just like, pfft. Just, uh, and... I remember when they closed down the video store when uh, I lived in my old town. It was just like, well, that stinks. I mean, that, that was before our blockbuster closed down. It was just so. It was just, even though I never, almost never went there, except maybe two or three times, it was still a disappointment. It was a part of my childhood, and it was going away. So I wonder what they use it for now. I by the time I moved away, I think it was just an empty room, but. I wonder if they use it for something else right now. I, if I ever go back there, I should check to see what it is, so... Uh, and I also remember getting strategy guides too in, in Nintendo Power, because, um... I didn't get Nintendo Power, actually, for getting far from games. That was, that was past my time, but... I, I do remember getting the strategy guides, and I had, let's see, I had Pokemon, Ruby, and Sapphire. Paper Mario, good game, really good game. Uh, let's see, uh, Alarinka Time, Majora's Mask, and Super Mario Advance 4. I, at least I think it's Advance 4, and if that's the one that Super Mario Bros. 3 is on, and all of them are gone now except for Advance 3 or 4, and that's because it was in our car under one of those things in the middle of the seats that you pull back. It was behind those, so... That's the only one we have, but the other strategy guides were torn apart to pieces. I, my friend and I actually cut parts of out of the Paper Mario um, strategy guides so we can play with them, and I still have them right now. I, maybe I'll show them at the end of the video, but I still have them right now. And um, I think the uh, Pokemon one was still in good shape when I gave it away, but I or didn't give it away, but I. Uh, I think my mom may have given it away or something. I, I don't know what happened to it, but I should have kept it. <laughs> because I, I was trying to figure out how to do a few things still when I had it, but what are you going to do? So, I'm hoping to update my collection when we get the Super Nintendo back, or if it does get fixed. So, because we only have a few games, we never got that much for the Super Nintendo when we were little, just, just the N64, so... I, mean, I want to get a Link to the Past, F-Zero, what else, Super Mario RPG, even though it can be kind of costly, Mortal Kombat, all the Donkey Kong games, just tons of good stuff. It, it's going to be a long list, but it, it, it will hopefully be worth it. So, let's see, anything else I can talk about my, my early gaming hood childhood, I... Probably really can't think of anything too much right now. Well, uh, there, we did go uh, actually to my friend's house when we were little too, and they had an, we had an N64 and they had a PlayStation, and we would go to each other's houses and just play the games. They get super loud and piss off our parents. Just going like, oh yeah, yeah, a 
especially with Mario Party and Super Smash Bros. Just, we got loud, but it was fun times, and it's sad to see that multiplayer game is dying for online now. I mean, yeah, you can play with people around the world, but uh, personally for me, I think it's a lot better to play with people in the room. It's just, it's a lot more lively than just, it's a lot better, but people just don't do it as much anymore, unfortunately, so that's a disappointment. But, that's pretty much my childhood for gaming, just a lot of really good things, some bad things, just like, anything like, um, data getting erased or anything like that, so it's like, oh, no! I actually remember when I lost my Pokemon Crystal, my first Pokemon game, that, that was a tragedy, I, I think someone at my school stole it, and, you know, if you lose a game at school, you're never gonna get back. Never. Even your best friend may steal it. I mean, I remember when my um, one of my friends left a Game Boy on a on a table to get so he can get some food, and when he came back, it was gone. So that's a big lesson to you. Don't don't leave your crap on the table, or you you won't see it again after that. Just lots of really good memories and all that, and. I guess that's really all I really have pretty much have to say for this video, so... Oh, and the Paper Mario things. Oh, I have them somewhere here. They are. Sorry, that took a few much longer, but take all this crap out. Do, 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 do. And here we are. Just this is what my friend and I did when we were little. We we played with these, and we would cover up my parents' room with a bunch of covers, trying to make make it look like the Paper Mario World and all that. Look at all these. Just it was a creative game. I think we we had fun with it, but. We did tear that thing up apart. And there's a real one in here somewhere that you're supposed to cut out. Of. Get out. I'm trying to hold this so it doesn't also fall. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I buried deep in here somewhere, but don't want to go and look for it forever. Yeah, I don't know where it is. But, <clears throat> basically, just lots of really good memories, bad memories, and all that, so. Uh, oh, look, the Star Spirits. Just. <clears throat> yeah, I can't find it. I, I know it's in here somewhere, but I don't really want to go and spend a ton of time going and looking for it, so. Unfortunately, I guess we won't find that out. No oh well. Anyway, this is... Oh, 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 look at this! Get, now get out! I stole this thing! Yeah, you got these at Burger King years ago, and... I think these might have been the things where some kids put their mouths on it and they died later, unfortunately, so... I still have mine, though. Stop falling! So, anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and include this video. I, I can't find it. This is Master Mario 548. Alpha Wings, and thanks for the, giving the uh, video response idea to me, and take care. Have a great day.